Hi guys, my name is Squally Wally Hunter and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a vegan ice cream in just about 5 minutes. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, well here are just a couple of ingredients you're going to need. First of all, definitely bananas. This is about 3 bananas chopped up and then I froze them. It's really important that you freeze everything that you're going to use the night before and then it'll be ready in about you know 24 hours because if it's not frozen it's not really going to turn into ice cream it'll be more like a smoothie but yeah and then here's some strawberries I got like a handful of strawberries and then this is a whole pineapple I'm probably not going to use at all but you know just as much as you want pretty much and then some cantaloupe and I also have this I'm going to throw this in there at the end just to give a little bit of a crunch and here we go now this step is optional I always like to uh, just you know to make sure it gets all broken up so my blender doesn't really have too much of a hard time I've already done it with the bananas and the cantaloupe and the strawberries don't really group together, so you don't really need to do it with them. So let's just get to putting it in the blender. Boop. Usually I like to put the bananas in first because it seems like they're the easiest for the blender to really like break up. So I just go ahead and toss them in there. Like I said, this is about three chopped up bananas you probably don't need this many if you're gonna be just doing it for one person but I'm actually gonna be making some ice cream for two people so I'll just put them all in there and plus this is one of the more sweet aspects of the ice cream like this is pretty much the sweetener if you do it with just berries I mean it'll come out a little bit too tangy for my taste it works it's just not my thing and then with the strawberries, I always leave the little green leaves on because they're actually really good for digestion. They aid in digestion, so. And you can't even really taste them, so might as well just toss them in there. I still have about this many left. And then cantaloupe, I'm going to put about half this bag in there. And then some pineapples. I like to leave the granola for the end so it doesn't get completely emulsed and it's still kind of crunchy. If I put it in now, it's going to just turn really fine and chopped up. So, there we have it. And now we're going to just start turning on the blender. You can add a little bit of water here if you'd like that's completely optional you're definitely gonna need a high power blender though because <laughs> I tried this with a, like a lower speed one that wasn't really very strong and it just didn't work out I use a Vitamix blender that's pretty much what I would recommend I mean other blenders may be able to do the job but I just know for sure if you get a Vitamix it's definitely gonna work so, and also you need to make sure your blender has a plunging hole so you can push all the stuff down as it just starts to get blended up. Alright, so here we go. I'm just going to put this video on silent right now while I'm blending it because it's going to be really loud. Alright, so here we go. <laughs> So I'm just going to shake it up because the bottom part is getting a little bit stuck. So, that happens often. So I just kind of shake it. <laughs> Make sure you put the top on or something might fly out. <laughs> I'm going to add just a 
just a little bit of water. Make sure you don't add too much water or it'll get like really liquidy and not ice creamy. So just a little bit to get started and that should be good. <laughs> This is taking longer than I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> So I had a bit of a technical difficulty. When I was blending the ice cream ingredients, I just so happened to take off the lid and use the plunger because it seemed like it wasn't really mixing that well. I don't know, I think I was just nervous. <laughs> and uh, I hit the plunger with the blade and they got plastic all in the ice cream. So I got kind of discouraged and I was like, I'll just do it some other time because I was like why would you do that because it's kind of common sense but I don't know anyways everybody makes mistakes that's kind of the point of me telling you this so let's just jump right back into the recipe I'm just gonna make another one so here's a blender and ta -da! That's a cool house. <laughs> So you're going to want to blend it till it's a consistency like this. And then you can go ahead and put in your granola if you'd like. This step is optional. But look. Woo! <laughs> That's how thick it is. It's so creamy and like rich. It's really nice. So I just put about a handful in here, like this, and then now I'm going to pulse it so I can chop it like a little bit and just mix it in. So it's going to end up looking like this, and then you get your ice cream scoop, my cute little ice cream scoop, and then you're going to scoop in your bowl. And there you have it, some yummy, sweet, creamy, nutritious, delicious, vegan ice cream in just about five minutes. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for all the cool craziness I have coming for you. <laughs> Bye.